Is it on? I think it's on. Greetings YouTubers, Atari here with a pickups and package video. Just let me get set up, just one second. This is this is the package by the way. My coffee's in the way. It's Maxwell House Instant. I've really been liking it lately. That's okay, right? Things change. Some things stay the same. I just gotta get organized here. I'm not very organized right now. Such is my life. Um, part of the reason is because we're getting ready to move, so everything's kind of disorganized right now. That's why I haven't been making too many videos lately either. Okay, the package is there, but I got a few local pickups first that I will do. Um, and a lot of these things are things, uh, a few months ago I, I got rid of a lot of my stuff in what I call the Great Purge uh, back in January and February. Some of those items I regretted getting rid of, so I've selectively been picking up a couple things here and there. So you might have seen these before. Um, I got a couple Atari games here um, from someone on Atari Age. These were two bucks each plus shipping, so like another four bucks. So uh, a couple of 20th Century Fox games that are both really good that I really enjoy actually. There's Alien. Had it before, but a great actually it's a good pretty good Pac-Man type of game. There's that, and this is kind of a River Raid clone. Fantastic Voyage. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Uh, what else have I got here? Oh, Loose for the Genesis. This was in uh, Value Village for, I think, $2.99. You see that? Virtual Racing? Yeah, good game. Very good game. Um, I've been trying to get my Genesis games boxed, but uh, for 3 bucks, I thought it's, it's, it's actually a good game, so... I would pick that up. Mm, Maxwell House. Uh, as everybody knows, I'm a big Coco fan, and I saw this on eBay. Uh, I already have this, but since it's my favorite uh, Coco game on a cartridge, and I got it for a good price, so I decided to pick it up. It's double back, and I've done a I've done a review for this already. You see that? Yeah, I've done a review for this already, so maybe I'll leave a link to that too. It's one of my older reviews. Uh, another thing that I regretted getting rid of uh, is this particular NES cart. Now this is one of those pirate carts that has a lot of games on them. Uh, I traded in some stuff at the game store, so I ended up getting this for only five bucks. Uh, you can tell it's a hundred and hundred and ten and one. Uh, and the reason I like this particular one, and there's probably others like this too, it's got uh, great uh, ports of Mappy, uh, Puyan, Galaxian, Dig Dug, and some others. That, that weren't released over uh, in North America for the NES, so great great to have that. Uh, actually, I like just popping this into my top loader, and uh, I've only got about 25, 30 NES games, and a lot of them are actually on here, so a lot of times I'll just pop this in. Really great card. I like having that. Okay, everything else here is uh, Genesis. And as, as I've been saying, I've been trying to... to um, get things boxed for the Genesis since it's not a system I, I collecting a lot for. Let me move some stuff here. Ah, oh, coffee's gonna have to go. I don't want to move my coffee. Okay, but yeah, I've been, I've been trying to pick up box games. Now, I had this one and I traded it to Thomas because I, had, I was picking up this boxed version. It's um, Williams Arcade's Greatest Hits. It's one of the cardboard boxes, but it's complete. It's got the instructions in it. You see? Yeah. Really good, good ports for the Genesis there. Uh, let's see what else. Oh, yes, I picked this up from a website called Collectors Cards and Games, and this one is complete. Another great arcade port. Marble Madness. Great game. I have this for the NES, too, but the Genesis version is really, really good. So there's that. Uh, these two here, I already had the carts for as well, but I was looking for the boxes. Now, in this particular case, 
Uh, I just bought the empty box. It was five bucks, and I bought it from Trade and Games. Trade and Trade and Games. But I already had the cart, so. But it's not complete still. But it's hit the ice. Now this is one of those games you don't see too often boxed. If you, I don't know if it's really rare, but hit the ice seems to be harder to find, and to find it in the box seems to be even harder. So, no instructions, but just the cart in the case. But I wanted the box for this one. Still a great game. And this was another one I traded to Thomas because I picked up the box version. Uh, again, no instructions, but this one is seems to be also harder to find too in its box. Space Invaders 91. Excellent port. Love the port for this one. Um, it's really fantastic. I th it's one of my favorite Space Invaders actually. Great, great game. And this last one, um, I mentioned about a month or so ago when I did a pickups video that I picked up one of those Genesis 6-in-1 plug-in plays. And there was a game on there that I'd never heard of before, never played before, but I instantly fell in love with it. And uh, it was another one that seemed to be hard to find. But this one is complete with instructions. It's flicky. I'm hoping to do a review on this. Uh, don't know when I'll have time, but it's a it's a really fun Genesis game. It kind of reminds me of Mappy a little bit. And I've heard other people say the same thing. It does have kind of a Mappy feel. It's a cute little game. Uh, it's based on an arcade game from, I believe, 1984. Sega released it. Flicky, yeah. Just simple little fun. One of those rare gems that... Uh, I'd never heard of. So yeah, that was great. So that's it for the local pickups. I believe that's everything. Now, because I, ha I haven't been, I haven't been going out of my way to look for um, to look for stuff. So I'll do the package now. And again, this is from Thomas Thirty One Twenty. Uh, I sent him a couple of Genesis games. He PM'd me. Uh, this is something that he made, and I'll put a link to his video for uh, those who haven't seen it for what he was doing. I'll read the note. Now this is a couple of, what it basically is, is a couple of controllers that he's modded to work for different systems. Look at this. Holy cow. I'm not technical. <laughs> he sent me all this. It's all Greek to me. I think this is for an adapter. Um, I, I think. I don't know. Alright, I'll read the note on the back. Hey Jeremy, that would be me. Here are the two modded game pads. Okay, so I'll show you as we're, we're going through, as I read the note. That should be easier just to do that. Oy vey. So I won't bother opening this, but you can see it's a PS1. Hopefully you can see it's a PS1 controller. Dual analog stick with the uh, this thingy here. PS1 pad... The P... Oh my goodness. The PS1 pad will work on the Atari systems. Good for Robotron. So there you go. Great, so I can play Robotron on the 7800. We'll also work on the 2600, 7800 with both Fire 1 and 2 and the Atari 8-bit computer systems. That's fantastic. I love that. Okay, thank you, Thomas. I'll, I'll see if I can do a video for these two. Uh, the second one, again, I don't know if you can see. I won't bother opening the bubble wrap right now. It's a Genesis uh, gamepad here. The Genesis gamepad will work on the ColecoVision with both Fire's both fire buttons one and two. Use OEM CV controller number two to select difficulty, etc. Yeah, so I, you use the regular, a regular ColecoVision uh, controller in port two to do your game selects. That's right. It will also work with Omega Race 2600. Fantastic. And Thomas has already sent me one of those for Omega Race and other 2600 games. Hope you enjoy, Thomas. Yeah, that's great. So what? Yeah. Um, so the adapter, so this comes with it, okay, for the 7800 one. So if this, it's like a, almost like a printer cable, right? I'll put this down. So you plug this into here, I'm assuming. Let me see if I got that right. Yeah. You plug this into there, and you have your 9-pin 7800, 2600 ports. That is fantastic. So I could play this. I could play Robotron with the PS1 dual analog sticks. And like I said, I'll do a, um, uh, I'll put a link to Thomas's actual videos where he was talking about and making these. So that's fantastic, Thomas. Thank you very much. I really appreciate that. Uh, it makes gaming a lot easier with the stuff that Thomas does. And, and 
I, I don't need to say, most of you know that Thomas is a bit of a genius when it comes to this stuff. I could never do what he does. Uh, just just amazing work that he does. And I, I enjoy the controllers he sent me before, 7800 pads, and the other Omega Race uh, NES pad that works for the 2600. So thank you very much, Thomas. Those are the pickups for this right now. Uh, and just a quick note, I don't know how many... Um, videos I'll be doing in the next month or so because of getting ready to move and so forth so I'm still around I'm still watching I'm still commenting but uh, I might not be making as many videos for the time being we'll see it might change who knows but thank you for watching everybody and have a fantastic day enjoy your Maxwell House coffee